So this right here is one of those videos, y'all, that don't really need an introduction, right? I'm going to just put y'all up on game of what's going on right now in the world. So let me just say this, y'all. Number one, this is not me tearing down another black man, right? See, we have entered this era to where if you speak up, it's almost like you're speaking against, okay? If you have an opinion, I'm a hater, right? If you are, you know, not going with popular opinion, then you are against us and now nah, we should just cancel them. Cancel culture, right? Well, I want to speak about, you know, my thoughts on this TikTok viral teacher, right? Who invited his kids or students, okay, you know, to pretty much take out his hair. Now, apparently, y'all, right, it was an appointment and that he had to go to and he wasn't able to, you know, uh, take out his hair prior before that moment. And so, you know, I, I get it, right? I get that. However, I just think that it wasn't, you know, right and correctly done. And honestly, it was no other way to do this involving students outside of getting it done yourself. Make sense of what I'm saying, y'all? So, you know, just to kind of give y'all more context, y'all, again, it's a, an appointment that he had to make, right? And so, and it, had, it, it was immediately too, okay? Because you got to put all this stuff into perspective. He had to get there immediately. I get it, right? So he's just trying to think off, off top. But the thing is, y'all, I would not have done it that way. I would have had it done, okay, before. Now, let me just say this, y'all. Let me say this. Um, all I could think about was if I had a daughter, would I be okay with that? I asked myself, if I had a daughter, would I be cool with that? Right? And I don't have no kids right now, y'all. But no, I can tell you right now, I won't be cool with that. Right? Nah. And I get it. Some people going to say, well, you controlling. Okay, cool. Those are your opinions. But when it comes to my daughter being that close in with another grown man, you must think I'm booboo the fool. Now, I, I, I looked at the brother, and I don't think that his intentions were ill. I don't, right? So, again, y'all, this is not me trying to tear him down. This is more so a correction video. Holding my brother accountable for his actions. Because it's some things you just don't do. Especially involving other people's kids, right? So, I, I just want to also add this, y'all, right? This is where... You know it gets sticky right because very similar to michael jackson right i'm not trying to put him in the same boat and me personally i don't think that michael jackson actually you know committed the act of what they're trying to or what they tried to convict him of right um although he even got you know acquitted okay but that's another story but what i'm saying is this is why grown people cannot stoop down to kids levels you can't because things like this happen all the time, right? Things like this happen all the time. You cannot stoop to a kid's level trying to be their friend. You cannot be a kid's friend, okay? You can be understanding. You can communicate with them, right? You can try to reason with them to an extent. But you can't get on their level and be their friends, all right? This is with a friendship, okay? This is, you know, within a, a parenting Okay, honestly, you cannot parent or parent a child correctly, okay, or mentor a child correctly while trying to be their friend. It just won't work, y'all, all right? And so in this video, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and get the five things that, you know, I disagree with, you know, the whole video, okay? So let's get into it, y'all. Number one, I felt that it was unprofessional, right? I thought that the whole thing was unprofessional. We are in... A school environment, a school setting, okay? And we just turned it into a cosmetology room. I seen a comment, somebody said, this would be okay if this was a cosmetology class, meaning if this was a hair class. From my understanding, y'all, it was not a hair class, okay? Marina, what are you saying right now? It was unprofessional. Again, y'all, I get it. He had an appointment right after, you know, class, well, it sounds like some irresponsibility to me. That's irresponsible, my brother. Because if you if if your next resort was to get the kids, you know, 
to help you out with your hair. And I get it. It wasn't just one woman. I mean, one uh, young lady. It wasn't just uh, kids in his class. It was, you know, spread it out. From my understanding, he got kids from other, you know, classes, right? However, it's going to look like what it looked like. <laughs> and that's the lack of wisdom. So I got a question for my fathers, right? Because I'm not talking about people who are under 25, okay? I'm talking about real grown people with kids, with wisdom, right? Maybe I'm even speaking to a little higher than that, but I'm not talking about the ones who look at it. You, you tripping, gang. Man, he, they, they just taking out this hell squad. Yes, I'm young too. I'm in my 20s, but at the end of the day, when you got wisdom, some things will never be okay to you. Some things will never be okay to you. Now, sticking to it, y'all, fathers, would you be okay if it was your daughter? Erase the fact, you know, of the girls that are on screen that you have no connection to. I'm not talking about those girls, no, because you don't feel it. <laughs> you don't feel that. What if it was your daughter? In this in this man head, right? You know, just by looking at it, I think these young girls was what about uh 15, 16, no, definitely no older than 17. I would say anywhere between 14 and 16. <clears throat> Do y'all know that a young lady, right? She become a grown woman around the age of eight or nine. Why? Because she have a cycle. Now she's able to get pregnant. Now she probably won't have a successful pregnancy. Right? Because she's so young and her body is not fully developed. However, she has cycles, which means she is not fertile. Rena, what are you saying right now? 14 to 16 is when a young lady began to start thinking about sex. And from the looks of this man, <laughs> this don't look like no, you know, no oogly boogly bell. I'm just going to be honest with you, right? So to those young girls, you know, he could possibly be, or you could, um, if I'm, if you're listening to me, brother, you could possibly be attractive to one of these young ladies. It's a possibility. You tied it up, right? You can't get on their level, bro. You got to keep it professional. And so to me, I felt that it was very unprofessional. Mothers, would you be okay if your son was getting his hair taken out by multiple female teachers? Answer that for me. Because I've seen a lot of, you know, ladies, right? I, I think I've seen more women in the comments who kind of agreed with the, the teacher, right? I've seen more women who was like, ah, it's okay. I, I didn't really see too many fathers. However, I'm sure it was some males, you know, who was like, oh, it's cool, okay? I think they just as crazy as well. Wasn't it the parents who told R. Kelly, and I'm not trying to say that this young brother is like R. Kelly. I'm just, I'm just telling you how uh, hypocritical and contradicting parents can be. Wasn't it R. Kelly who said, yeah, my daughter can go over there with you? Wasn't it, you know, the parents who said that those kids can go with Michael Jackson and that was the same ones who turned around and tried to sue him? So I don't really believe when these parents are, hey, it's okay. I don't really believe that, right? But what I am saying, y'all, is this right here. Again, you have to erase the fact that it's these girls that you are not connected to and think of it as if it was your own. Think of it as if it was your own. I think that it was very unprofessional. Um, second thing, y'all, I thought that it was, you know, a sign of immaturity, right? Once again, <laughs> there's no way that a man, you know, should be stooping down to a kid's level and saying, hey, y'all uh, take out my hair. Y'all come take out my hair, right? Now, once again, y'all, maybe he thought that he was, you know, a father figure to some of these young ladies. Maybe he don't even look at them like that. This, again, y'all, this is not me saying that he had these type of intentions. I'm saying this is a lack of wisdom, my brother. This right here is a lack of wisdom. No way in hell should you have kids, young ladies, right, to come into your world and start taking out your hair. I, I disagree with it. It's a form of immaturity. You're getting on their level, right? Next thing, y'all, um, it's a it's incorrect leadership, right? You got to think about it, brother. As you are, you know, in this position of power, because that's what it is, you are now a leader. So these young ladies are looking up to you. They respect you. 
They watch you. They follow you. You are the trend in class, okay? You are the trend. So they pay attention to you. And by, you know, uh, watching the video, I think that they respect you, right? But again, again, no doubt in my mind that not at least one of those young girls have a crush on you. It's a possibility. And so you have to understand something. <laughs> you being the leader, it should have never crossed your mind to say, come take out my hand, right? Or asking them kindly, whatever the case was. It's, a, it's incorrect leadership. Now you're showing them that it is okay to do unprofessional things in a professional environment. It is okay, you know, to uh, befriend, you know, a kid when you are an adult, right? You're supposed to be a mentor, not a friend. Two different things. A mentor guides you. A friend, you know, accommodates you uh, equally. <laughs> we on the same level, right? I get it. I get it. You don't want to be the teacher who is out of contact or out of touch with his kids. So he don't even know, you know, that uh, Sharonda got daddy issues at home. She, he don't even know that, you know, she going through it. She don't really have food. She homeless. I understand that. I get it. But see, it's a level that you go to, right? It's a level that you go to. And what I'm saying is I think that that was, you know, too far to go. Because now you have them in your personal space. They're all surrounding you. And again, I heard somebody say that uh, the guy said, well, the teacher was like, you know, he spoke with the uh, parents and it was okay. Again, y'all, I think they're just as crazy too, right? Because, you know, when it's all said and done, if anything puts them in jeopardy, now they're going to be the first one trying to sue the man, right? It's a lack of wisdom. It's a lack of wisdom. Um, next thing, y'all, I just think it was inappropriate overall, y'all. All right, it was inappropriate overall. Um, Reno, what about the women? Okay, cool. I, I, I'll tell you. Well, unfortunately, y'all, we live in a society where women can do certain things and men can't. Men can do certain things and women can't. For example, a man can go out here and have ten women, right, on his team. He can have sex with ten women. If a woman go out here and have sex with four men, she's everything but a child of God. Double standard, right? Double standard. A woman can possibly stay at home, okay, two, three, four years at the time. Honestly, however long she wants, she would not be considered a bum, okay? They will look at her as she's going to marry from home. <laughs> but this man You better go get you a house Or we're going to call you a bum Double standard So what I'm saying is when it, it, Yeah I get it If it was a woman I don't think it would be This much of an uproar I get it Yeah I agree And no I'm not saying that she wouldn't be just as wrong Yes it would still be inappropriate And yes it would still be unprofessional For those who are wondering What I'm going to say If it was a woman Yeah It's still the same thing but the fact remains, this is a man who have these 14, 16-year-old young girls crowding around him, right? And so I will also say this, again, I don't think that his intentions was just evil and he's doing bad things. I, I honestly felt this spirit through the phone. I don't think that he was, you know, evil or anything in, uh, within his intentions. I just think that it was a lack of wisdom, right? Because... Either one or two things. Either you're dumb to record yourself committing a crime, or two, you just was like, hey, we just we just chilling. But as a teacher, no, we're not just chilling. I'm here mentoring. I'm here trying to help. I'm here trying to preach this, well, not preach, but, you know, teach this curriculum. That's what we're doing as a teacher, right? And so the last thing, y'all, um, I would just say this. You know, it's playing with fire, right? So I did some research myself, and it says that uh, Fox News Digital, Okay, found earlier uh, this year that nearly 350 public educators were arrested for child sex related crimes in 2023, right? This right here was in 2023. You, what, what are you trying to say right now, Reno? What I want y'all to understand is this is not far fetched for people to be reacting to this video the way that they are. It is real predators out here. Again, I'm not calling my man a predator. I'm just talking about how it looks. 
it don't look good. It don't look good, right? And so you have to understand, you put yourself in position, bro, to have these allegations. You put yourself in position, bro, to go viral and now everybody is sharing their opinion. Understand something. These young girls possibly have a fantasy about you, crush about you, right? Or a crush on you. And here you are inviting them to do your hair. And, it, and it's probably not even on that level, but it's about what it looks like, what's appropriate, and what's professional. And that, my brother, was not appropriate. It was not professional, okay? And it just wasn't wise, right? But with that being said, y'all, you know, nothing else to say on this video, right? I just, I just had to share my thoughts and my opinion on this video. So y'all drop down below in the comments if y'all felt that this was inappropriate or if it was appropriate, right? Y'all drop in the comments and let me know how y'all feel, all right? I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. Y'all keep a rich mentality. Peace.